There's Crick Bar Centre Stage, Adam Collins, Brett Sanderation. Regrettably, we're not quite centre stage. We've taken refuge under the Lords Media Centre. It's still teeming with rain. A washout on the first day at Lords for the second consecutive year. Last year, it was England, India. This time, it's England, Australia. Very disappointing way to end what is usually an iconic day on the cricketing calendar. So disappointing. I even came prepared with a shirt. No, unbuttoned. I thought like I was like looking dapper today, but no play. This is what Lords gives you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Lords lets you down too often. We came so close. We were three minutes away from a toss at 3 p.m., which would have seen play commence at half past three. But then out came the umbrellas. The covers followed suit. The rain as well. It wouldn't have mattered had they tossed because there's no way they would have got any balls in today due to the torrents of rain which have followed across northwest London. A little bit of news, Barat, was that we know that uh, James Pattinson was was going to be replaced by Josh Hazelwood, not Mitchell Stark. Justin Langer confirmed that it wasn't going to be Stark, it was definitely going to be Hazelwood. And what was interesting is uh, Joe Root came out yesterday and said, we're going to play our cards very close to our chest, we're giving nothing away. And then they come and publicly give Jofra Archer his cap. Chris Jordan, that was a good touch, but Chris Jordan giving him the test cap, which means Jofra Archer is playing. So it's only right that Justin Langer then later in the day came in the press conference and said, yeah, I mean, Josh Hazelwood was warming up. So we anyway knew he was going to be picked ahead of Stark. So that's no surprise there. But now at least we know the playing alarms. And unlike last year, it's not like India who played two spinners. Cool, cool Debiano yeah, this time no, last year, wasn't Big it? surprise, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not this time around. It's going to be three quicks for Australia. We knew that James Pattinson was missing. What we didn't know was that he pulled up a fraction sore mm -hmm. after bowling on Monday. So that does sort of feed the argument that they're trying to balance their attack and make sure that from a physical perspective, they can get all the way through to the fifth test at the Oval in about a month from now. Yeah, and he, both Payne and Langer have spoken a lot about extending careers of these fast bowlers, which is actually a good point. And Langer says that this is the first time in his coaching career they've had six fit genuinely talented fast bowlers and obviously they want to protect them, Pattinson in particular, because he can make or break test matches, make more than more often than break. So uh, it's, it's, oh no, I'm so surprised that they're protecting him and Hazelwood like, like, you know, has a great record here and Australia have been all about control, so I'm not surprised he's come in for start. Justin Langer was also asked, who's the best person to have in the dressing room on a day like today? A little one day, he said Peter Siddle. It's clear that the coach is really backing in his veteran 34-year-old, not just what he brings on the pitch, but the vibe he brings around the dressing room as well. I've never seen a wider smile from an Australian cricketer in my time, seriously. Yeah. No, you can just see it. Like Even during the summer when he wasn't playing much against India, he was there, he was doing all the social uh, media work, he was there with the kids at the end of the day, and he seemed to be enjoying just being around the dressing room, even if he wasn't playing. So I'm not surprised that, uh, but Dustin Langer didn't name who he didn't want to be around that dressing room. <laughs> Classic Australian. No Merv Hughes or anything like that today. Brad, you actually wrote a beautiful feature interview up with Peter Siddle during the week. I encourage you to go to the website and read it there. You noted that he's well suited to Justin Langer being the coach, but not so much Darren Lehman when he was in charge. Yeah, because there was that time when Darren Lehman came, publicly came and said that we want Peter Siddle bowling at 140. He's right now averaging 131, 132. That's not acceptable. And, you know, with Lehman, it was all about blowing the opposition away and Siddle did tell me in, during that interview that they obviously got it wrong in the previous Ashes tours and what they all had to do was look at Broad and Anderson and learn from what they were doing considering they've taken thousand wickets or so between them most of which have come on in these conditions so uh, yeah he did say that this is the happiest he's been in an Australian dressing room the most relaxed he's been and Langer had been in touch with him throughout last year just like getting some feedback about what was happening in England and also about his body so he just feels more relaxed and Langer is like we've seen him as coach he likes guys who bring like you know add to the team ethic it's not just so much about like you know gungoism like you know just like threatening or intimidating the opposition so i'm not surprised he's fit in beautifully and you know it's a good story when someone's wife retweets your article <laughs> <laughs> it's a cream old day, day here at lords let's hope we get something a fraction nicer tomorrow crick bus center stage adam collins and brad sender and i'll have michael vaughan back with me tomorrow as well hopefully a full day of cricket until then